Hi, I'm Clive Carroll and I'm at Dream Guitars in Asheville, North Carolina. And um, I've arrived early, uh, I've got a concert here tonight and uh, they asked me just to perhaps show a few techniques. Uh, so one that comes to mind immediately is if, the, if you're using a pick and strumming a standard chord, you've got to cap up the second fret with a, with a drop D kind of tuning. Instead of just strumming across all the strings, which is a great sound in, it, in its own right, you know, like a... Another idea is to split the guitar into three sections, I suppose, um, in a way so that um, you can have one part around these two strings, the second part um, played on the third and fourth strings, and the top two strings could be the third voice, I suppose, or perhaps the first voice, however you like to think of it. But um, let me kind of reduce the sound or, or split up the sound. So I'll, I'll start with by strumming. Uh, the D and then I'll split it into three parts so kind of, it just makes the instrument sound a lot wider all of a sudden but it would be down on the first beat up on the middle strings and then down on the middle strings and then up on the top two strings if you loop that, it sounds like this. And that's it, you know, you just, it's not a stiff, it's, it's as if, you know, even if it's one string, it should still feel like you're strumming it, um, rather than a, it's not a pick, it's just, you, you happen to catch that string on the free-flowing strumming uh, kind of technique. So let me play you a short piece now, just to demonstrate that. Sounds like fingers and plectrum as well, so it's just a... Uh... 